Well, here we are in the new forest with a slightly different setup, slightly more easy to operate. This here is the former runway of a Stony Cross Airfield, a World War II airfield. So I know it's completely flat. And I'm going to do another test now to see what the range is here. This thing is only a few feet above the ground. It's, it's a more reasonable, uh, um, like Snoopy. Well, I've walked a certain distance and it's now barely receiving anything. And we are... Let's see if we can zoom in on that. There it is. And the results of this test gave a range of 114 meters. I've also done some further tests after reconfiguring the HC12 as shown here. Uh, to change the frequency from 434.2 megahertz to 459.4 .4, and to increase the power from 10 milliwatts to 100 milliwatts um, in the hope that that would increase the range. I've also changed the aerial from the helical one that you've seen so far to a quarter wave whip aerial which I'll show you in a minute. And here is my latest equipment to test the HC12 consisting of a quarter wave whip aerial and uh, driven by the micromite down, down there and then my uh, bamboo stick with another quarter wave aerial on it receiving data onto the laptop. Well uh, here are the results of all the tests that I've done um, and I must say I think they're rather disappointing for my purposes. Uh, I'll make some observations. First of all the reduction in height from 137 centimeters to 68 centimeters which I made between the first test and the subsequent tests uh, dramatically reduced the range and I never managed to recover the original range. Secondly, uh, the increase in power from 10 milliwatts to 100 milliwatts did not have the desired effect. It didn't noticeably increase the range at all. The change from the helical to the quarter wave monopole antenna did make a significant improvement. The conclusion I reach is that if you want to use these HC12s to send data at 9600 Bode from uh, over a radio link, then uh, that's fine so long as the range is 50 meters or less. But anything longer, it's likely to be unreliable and uh, this figure bears no relation to the claim figure of 600 meters or one mile that uh, has been mentioned in in the literature but uh, the um, low range that i am getting may be a function of the fact that the antenna is very close to the ground if we put it on top of a mountain perhaps we'd get a longer range well that concludes my evaluation of the hc12 uh, radio links I've decided that they're not suitable for our purposes. What I plan to do now is to do what I was going to do in the first place, which is investigate uh, an alternative link, which is the Laird RM024. This is um, a 2.4 gigahertz uh, link uh, with frequency hopping and error correction. It, the only downside to it is it, it costs a little bit more. So, watch this space.